Yo, what's going on, Phantom Thieves? Arrow here. Um, I want to apologize for not making content for a little while. I was actually in the process of moving. Um, if you guys can tell, my background is different. I'm in my new house now. Um, but that aside, I am back. And uh, we're going to be watching the Shimigami Tensei 5 trailer that just uh, dropped three days ago. I'm a little late to that. But like I said, I wasn't around. But I do want to watch it with you guys because I have not seen it so Without further ado, let's go ahead and check this out here. It's the uh, World in Ruins trailer. Let's check this out. <clears throat> okay, that's us. I like the outfit, actually. Okay. I can't wait for this game. This game is going to be beautiful, guys. Like, I know, I know I've covered a lot of Shin Megami Tensei lately, but, man, the game is, what, 12 days away? Like, we're right there. And then the thing that's crazy about that is... The Grand Theft Auto trilogy comes out the day before, so we. But uh, let's get back to this. I, I'm. This game's gonna be awesome. I know it. Look how look how cool he looks, man. Like, oh man, this looks sick. Look at that hair. Oh, wow, hold on. Oh. That's a pretty cool looking demon, actually. Let's see, we got the pro tag. So, of course, we name ourselves. We got Mothman. My boy, look at Jack Frost, man. And we got Cyrano. Hmm. Okay. Okay. One thing I'm happy about is... um. The amount of attacks and stuff, because I played Nocturne on my Switch, and I like the main character, but I do like the fact that um, our character has a lot, has a much more varied move set. That demon fusion is sick. Oh, wow. Okay. This is what they needed to do with this game all along. It's the same thing they were doing with Metroid Dread. And of course, you know, Nintendo doesn't have as much pull as they do with Dread. But Atlas should really be pushing this game to make sure it sells well. Because a lot more people are into Persona. But this game is what started that. So we need to make sure this game sells well. So push it. character looks so sick. You will obtain a Tokyo that is yours and yours only. That's sick. Couple more weeks. And you know what? This is going to be a two for video. Hold on. This, this is going to be a two for video because... There was something else that one of my homeboys had showed me, and I want to look at it. We're actually going to do not only that trailer, but we're going to look at the um, the DLC that's coming out. 
and I have not got to see this yet, so let's make sure this is good. Yeah, let, let's check this out too. Let's check this out. Now, it's gonna have subtitles, but I'm cool with that. Let's see what we got to offer. Oh, what? What? Yo, wait a minute. Is this gonna be a costume that we get? Is this gonna be a costume? I was just talking about Nocturne. Okay, we're probably gonna fight him, but do we get to, is this a costume? Like, oh, let's just see, let's just see. Oh, wow, okay. Let me, I actually want us to read this. In the world of shadows, Sophia gives the protagonist a menorah, excuse me, which is said to grant either great power or a swift death. Okay, so you have something for us. Okay. Okay. Protagonist. Oh, wow. Wow. So we get these demons as DLC. We get the Matador. No way. No way. Oh, wow. Oh, yes. So they're going to be they're going to be unlockable. Oh. So we're going to battle him and look who he had. Look at Pixie, man. Okay, so it's gonna, he's going to be a fight, of course. Return of the True Demon releasing with the game. So I wonder, because, and I mean, Dante was in uh, Shin Megami Tensei 3, but I wonder, are we going to get him as a costume or something, or is it just going to be a fight? A goddess in train. Okay, this comes out the same day. Oh, Artemis. Okay. Okay. Help her in a quest to find a training partner. Oh, this is... Clear the mission to unlock her for Demon Fusion. Sick. Okay. I like this DLC. The Rage of a Queen. Okay. Cleopatra. Cleopatra, huh? Check on her. Okay. Hey, YouTube, don't be striking down my stuff. It's, it's a silhouette, okay, YouTube? Stop playing. This is sick. So we get Cleopatra. Yo, I actually like this. The Doctor's Last Wish. Mephisto. Yo, this is actually sick. Dang. Sheesh. Yo, I like this, guys. From here on, we'll be introducing content that will help players progress through the game. Okay. So we get some uh, Mitamas. Okay. Okay, so we get some Mitamas that'll help out. And this is completely optional. So for the people that are going to say, oh, they're making the game easy, it's optional. Optional, excuse me. I really like how this game is looking, man. <sighs> man. Okay.
okay, safety difficulty. And you know, for games like this, I think that's a good I think that's a good idea to release something like that because you want to make this game more accessible to newcomers. Because Shin Megami Tensei has had that history of being labeled a hard game. <clears throat> Excuse me. So in order to really bring people in, great idea. Free DLC for safety difficulty. If you want to just, you know, enjoy the story. <clears throat> Okay. So you get all that. See, one thing, because I'm just going to end it here. In addition, there will be a set that includes the uh, the digital version. Why can we not, for, our, for us physical collectors, how come we can't get a physical collection that comes with the DLC? Like, that's what makes me think that they're really pushing more towards a digital, you know, a digital sale. Why can't you just include a DLC bundle inside the Steelbook Edition that we're getting? <clears throat> that's really my only complaint about it. But um, outside of that, guys, I enjoyed it. Um, I'm so glad to be back and making content for you guys. Like I said, thank you for sticking with me while I was gone. But uh, let me know what you guys thought of the... Uh, the trailer and the DLC. All my Shin Megami Tensei fans, I will see you when the game comes out. And everybody else, once again, I'm the leader of the Phantom Thieves Arrow. I will catch you guys later. I'm going to go do a stream to celebrate Halloween. So, peace out.